All right, guys, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's your boy, Dom. And yes, uh, I'm in a room and I'm trying to record. So hopefully this format will work until I get a good setup. But I um, hope you guys are doing OK. Hope everything is going well. Today is going to be an important video because I'm going to talk about one of my influences growing up. And this is another one of the legacy artists that I've kind of looked up to and this is kind of the second part to a series of legacy artists from Capcom. I think I did a video of Edion, which you should check out. Today we're going to talk about Bingus and Bingus is a huge, huge influence in terms of my drawing and what I've come to appreciate and what really got me started in really the anatomy of drawing and it really started um really really young i was in grade school and i remember uh seeing an article on a magazine in a video game magazine talking about street fighter and at the time already it was already established and it was already famous and popular but um this particular article was talking about it going into a new direction and this was obviously talking about Street Fighter Zero or AKA Street Fighter Alpha. And I remember just the shift on the art direction and the fact that they were trying to take this more cartoony, more unrealistic approach to the series and the way that they were drawing the characters and the sprites at the time. And I remember vividly uh, some of the concept drawings done by Vegas and there was a drawing of Ryu and Ken but I mainly remember Ryu and Vegas' style at the time was very pastel it had a lot of purple and his shading was immaculate he was always using the pencils to um, amplify the details and it was very pastel-y but it was very simple and it was something that as a young kid growing up uh i really aspired to that and it really got me into what i would call probably the more realistic um anime approach and i was already into anime i was already interested in it but bingus's style for street fighter uh, alpha was really what um got me interested in it and then i remember just kind of looking at this, the, the concept of the character design of Ryu and just looking at it and studying it and copying it and drawing it and sketching it and looking at a lot of screenshots at the game. I mean, we didn't have internet back in the day. We just had screenshots, but all of the screenshots, everything that I could just look at when I would go with my mom in the grocery store was just gluing myself into those magazines and just absorbing as much art as possible um, until I convinced my dad to go get the game for me. And uh, Fast forward, when I got the game, I, my dad actually uh, recorded some of the, the footage uh, because he was into the, the style or the art in, at the time and then uh, it was, it was so fascinating. It was such a good, innocent time to be around in that area when art was kind of more grounded in just the, the pixel art. I think that's when pixel art really started to shine and, um, you know, just the way it looked on the character selection screen. I remember too on uh, those selection screens, character selection screens anyway, I just kind of absorbed them, I studied them, I emulated them, I copied them, and it was all thanks to Bengus. And Street Fighter Alpha 1 holds a very special place in me because I just, I just remember it was just the late 90s and it was just a good, good time. I think overall it was, just an exciting time to kind of be involved in that kind of realm with video games and stuff like that. So 
Anyway, fast forward all the way to uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2. And obviously Street Fighter Alpha 2, uh, they just cramped it up. You know, they, they cramped it up in terms of the styles, the more characters that they had. And obviously at the time, I thought it was Bengus, but it wasn't. It was actually Edeon, of which I talked about in the um, other video of Edeon. But he did Alpha 2 and or rather the character selection art for Alpha 2 and some of the promo art um, designed Sakura and uh, I just remember that time and that age too that he still took on that pastel look and I think at the time he ha had already done Darkstalkers and some of the other series that he was well known for I think before Alpha if I'm trying to remember and then um yeah, so anyway, thinking it was Bengus, uh, you're going from Alpha to, I believe, the Street Fighter EX series. And I remember seeing magazine ads of some of the designs he would do for Ryu and Ken and uh, uh, Skullamania. And uh, that was a really cool, fascinating time. but. Some of you guys will remember probably X-Men versus Street Fighter. Uh, more specifically, Marvel versus Capcom. Um, and some of the illustrations that he did there. The obvious classic um, artwork that he did for the promo poster where Marvel heroes are looking this way and the Capcom characters looking the other way. Classic, it's very classic. Uh, Bingusy thing, and I think during that era, and I remember that time specifically, that he used an interesting color three tone basis. And I remember this from Cap Marvel vs. Capcom, Power Stone, and Star Gladiator 2, which I think is called Plasma Sword. And his pencils were like immaculate, but it was really his coloring that really separated just, it just made his colors like pop for some reason, I think for when he did the Marvel characters, for example, the, he would do them way better than the comic artists at the time would do them. And it was just so, it was so wild how he did it. And, uh, it's just his real cool, simple approach to coloring also that made, made him appealing to me in his obvious exaggerated forms of, of style, specifically with Alpha 3. Um, and then I think after Alpha 3, he did um, Power Stone or Power Stone 2, then Cannon Spike. And then he did some promo arts for Street Fighter 4 and 5. Um, all this is kind of talking from my experience because I, I'm an enthusiast of his work. And I think now, fast forward to now, he's still at it. But I have to say that he is, he is basically probably the man responsible for giving me uh, inspiration behind Street Fighter. He was the one specifically that introduced me to probably some more Street Fighter games than Akima did, which I will talk about later in another video. But, um, you know, a lot of people, and I find this to be interesting, is that some people say that his art style diminished or his art style just faded. And I don't it couldn't be far from the truth because I feel like his art style has evolved just like Edeon's and some of the legacy artists and I think that Bengus is a very interesting artist because he he adapts and I think now his art style is more complete because it's it's more represent it's more representative of who he is as an artist uh, he's still keeps the pastel look, he still has the art pencil look on par, he still has the exaggerated look of his pieces and his characters, 
and it pops out and I and I wish one day and I wish that Capcom would give him the proper um, homage to his style in 3D form that would be a dream come true and I feel like uh, his his art style has been very much a staple in a lot of artists obviously he's a very well-known artist um, in that world but I think um, I think artists need to kind of dig deep and look into the past and look into um, these artists because I feel like these artists are very very important so all that to say, thank you, Bengus. Bengus, you probably will never see this video, but I'm a huge fan. And I'm amongst some of my peers, we're, we always, we always just, we're always enamored by your work. So please um, keep doing the great work. Thank you for inspiring us. And thank you for watching. And um, you know the whole shebang. If you like this, comment, subscribe, like through the whole shebang um, there's going to be more videos coming and you guys are awesome I'll catch y'all later thank you to my patrons I really appreciate you guys also so long y'all peace much love